I love the beach, I love the ocean, I love surfing. I surf pretty much every day, but I also do know the negative side of having fun. One day a crew of us were surfing one of our local breaks and one of my mates actually was dumped on a normal, normal little wave, nothing out of the ordinary, and he hit his head on the bottom and broke his neck. I now know that he was paralysed instantly and he's now quadriplegic. This day I was surfing, it was a fairly sort of remote spot, but, but I'd surfed it the last couple of days. Like with no one else out there, I was the only one. And there was, this day it was a little bit bigger and a little bit shallower and went out with a bunch of mates and I kind of went out there to impress them and go that little bit extra and go that little bit harder and deeper. And the first wave I took off on, I just fell off my board and hit my head on the reef and that was basically it, you know. I came to the surface and basically not being able to move any, like my arms or my legs, nothing. I was just sort of bobbing there. And then I went under and I couldn't swim and kind of got, got a few yells of help out. And then one of my mates grabbed me and pulled me into the beach. And if it wasn't for, the, you know, Taj, I, I wouldn't be here right now talking to you. The best thing to do is be aware of your surroundings and the environment. It's important to know your own limits and stick to them as you never know what could happen. It was only after I was dumped and broke my neck that I realised the power of the surf. Um, I didn't know that at the time when I was body surfing that a sandbank was there until I was actually dumped onto it. And I didn't realise how that one moment in time could change the rest of my life. And I used to love body surfing and taking walks along the beach, but now these things are a lot more difficult to do. I was 19 years old, I was with a mate, and we went out scurfing about 100 metres off the beach. I never realised the water was shallow or even considered about wearing a life jacket. My mate was on the boat on his own, and when I landed in shallow water, I was stuck. I, I hit my head on the bottom, my neck was broken beyond what it could bend, and I became a quadriplegic, just like that, in the blink of an eye. Australia Day 1988, and I was 20 years old at the time. Some mates and I were down here at the South Perth foreshore. The temperature was about 35 degrees that day. We all decided to go for a swim, and uh, a couple of them jumped in the water, and one mate dove in. I myself decided to dive in the water. And not knowing how deep the water was, the next thing I knew I was lying face down in the water. I couldn't move anything. I just uh, was holding my breath for as long as I possibly could. And uh, finally, one of my mates turned my head over. And uh, just as I was about to breathe in a mouthful of water. It's not just down the beach or in the ocean that people need to take care. It's in all water environments. Injuries can happen anywhere unless people think about their actions because the consequences could last a lifetime. I lay there paralysed and really freaked out. I heard the boat continue on in the direction it was going and all I could think was, I can't move, I can't move. He turned the boat around and came and saved me and I remember the splash, he landed in the water, grabbed me and rolled me over so I could breathe. My friend's girlfriend held me in the shallows for about an hour and the ambulance came and rescued me carefully from the beach. It was the last day I ever went scurfing or even enjoyed the water in the same way. When the ambulance crew was getting me into the ambulance, uh, I told my mates to throw my wallet and keys and, and whatever onto the stretcher with me. I said, I'll just go to the hospital and uh, I'll get fixed up and I'll catch a cab down and I'll be back in a couple of hours. Well, eight months later, I got out of hospital and started my new life in a wheelchair. At the time, I had no idea what a spinal cord injury was and it's a hell of a lot for a 20-year-old bloke to take in. And uh, I've had a lot of time to think about that day and I know if I'd only entered the water feet first, um, my life would be completely different now. So after my accident, I spent a year doing intensive rehab and during that time I had to learn to navigate the world again from the position of my wheelchair. Um, steps, curbs, ramps, you don't even think about those things unless you're in a wheelchair. 
Uh, it was a Sunday. Me and a couple of friends were playing a game of cricket. Um, it was quite a hot day, so after the cricket, we went down to the beach. Um, instead of walking in, I dived in and I hit a sandbank and I broke my neck. Sandbanks are a total hidden danger. They move with the currents, one minute they're there, one minute they're gone. The easiest way to avoid hitting a sandbank is walking in the water, checking it out yourself, especially when it's in the shallows. That day changed my life forever, and all I did was dive under a wave. One minute I was playing cricket with my mates, the next I had a serious injury. I now have no movement from my neck down, and I rely on my family and friends to help me with everyday things. Diving into unknown waters can be really dangerous and if you do dive, the water needs to be deep enough and the dive should be shallow. And the only way of really telling how deep it is is by measuring, like on the side of dive pools. We all need to be responsible for our own actions. All it takes is a little time and thought to have a safer water experience. If you can't see the bottom, don't dive in. Uh, you just don't know what's under the water. My advice to you, is when you're down at the beach, don't dive in, just walk in. A really simple message. When you're in the water or on the water, and especially when you've got friends in your care, just follow a few simple rules. It's not that hard to do. So I suppose my advice would be that when you're down the beach, just check out the water before you enter and know what your own limits are before you take a risk that could change the rest of your life. There are a few rules that everyone should follow. It might be as simple as entering the water feet first. If you can't see the bottom, then don't dive. And if you think the surf's too big for you, maybe go somewhere else. And always remember to respect the aquatic environment. Mm -hmm.